Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my playoff promo players and predictions. Now, for the playoff promo players and predictions, this is going to be a little bit delayed in terms of the content actually dropping. So, the predictions are fine, but they did say because this is the first week back in the office of Good Morning Madden and everything, they are a little bit behind. So, I don't expect the playoff promo to drop to at least later this week. But it seems like a good day to do the predictions. Going to go over them. So remember, the new format, there are a total of 14 teams, 7 in the NFC, 7 in the AFC, 1 by per conference, and then uh, 2 wild cards. Oh, an extra wild card, I should say. Sorry. Let me, let me rephrase that. An extra wild card per conference. I was trying to say 2 total. So now there's an extra seat in each one. And that leaves us with a total of 14 masters. If it, it, Playoff promo typically is one master, playoff master per team, and then two total masters one per conference nfc and afc so we're probably going to be seeing a total of 14 heroes slash masters and then well 14 heroes two total masters for the conference which are going to be the highest overalls now the heroes here i'm going to be slating at 95 to 96 overalls depending on what they do this year and the conference masters at 97 to 98 overall that's probably going to be with this we're going to end up seeing again it was 97s in years past but again its overalls are a bit higher right now than we've seen in years past at this point, at least last year. But let's get into this. Head over to the Mudhead screen, of course, because it's going to be easier to show you guys uh, per player stats there as I go one by one. I'm going to compare it to like, their most recent upgrades. I'm going to show you what I can expect. If you, do, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, comment down below, like the video. And if you need coins, head over to Mud Reserve and take advantage of, co of code Poodle for 30% off. Use it at checkout. Yeah, that's it. Let's get it over to the Mudhead screen. Tyra Matthew, Honey Badger for the Chiefs. I'm going to start with the AFC. Now, Tyron Matthew is in perfect line to get an upgrade here. He is going to. He's one of the leaders on their defense. Not many two, not many, not many great defensive players on the defense. More of a collective unit that's played big in the playoffs. But overall, he's one of the more name brand players in the, in the, on their defense. Last car was Super Star MVP, which was literally like one of the first weeks of Madden came out. If he gets an upgrade, you'll probably end up seeing more like a 93 speed at this point. Probably going to be in 95 overall, 93 speed. He'll end up having probably more than likely getting... Maybe 99 man and 99 zone powered up in Chemdub, and if not super close to it, he would be one of the best hybrid uh, all around corner uh, safeties in the game. I could probably play corner as well. He'll be super solid. We all know Tyra Matthew would be really, really good. Always is. The only knock on him usually is height and hip power, but we could probably overlook that. Now for the Bills as the second seed, these are in seed order as well. Josh Allen. Now Josh Allen's most recent car was a 92, but again, it I could see the upgrade. He's the leader of the Bills. He pretty much does it all for them, just about. Of course, they do have Diggs. So Diggs, in my honorable mention, I was stuck between him and Diggs. But Diggs also has the Team of the Week card. So Josh Allen, of course, if he did get an upgrade, he would be at 95, 96 powered up. And then he would end up probably having, I think at this point, he ends up with like an 88 to 89 speed, 99 throw power. He'll have all the throwing thresholds because medium and short will be there, and then deep you could just go deep on. He would probably be one of the best quarterbacks in the game, considering he's also a strong arm. Josh Allen card would probably be the best quarterback in the game, or at least right around it in terms of just pure strong arm guys. I mean, again, of course, we do have guys like Michael Vick and stuff, but that's more mobile. Next, we got James Conner for the Steelers. James Conner on the Pittsburgh Steelers running back. They usually don't make his cards too, but at 95 overall, James Conner probably ends up with like a 92 speed. Probably ends up with above 90 truck, above 90 spin move, above 90 juke, or at least close to it. Uh, high 80 change of direction and above 90 carry, above 90, 90 break tackle. He's going to be a super well-rounded back. Not going to be great. I really don't expect the card to be too great. It's just it's just who I expect to get it, but I don't think he'll be good at all, to be quite honest with you guys, because um, James Conner cards are never really good at Madden. In general, like they just never get good cards. Now, A.J. Brown for the Titans coming at the four seed. His yeah, last card was a team stay. Oh, Rising Star. He will end up having a really, really good card. He probably ends up with 94 speed, which is super fast, of course. Ends up with above 90 catching. He gets close to the 90 catching threshold, which should be fixed to play fake. Above 90 spec, above 90 short, above 90 medium, and above 90 deep. And again, again, you could all this is close enough to where you can remedy it with uh, remedy it with play fake or th chemistry. Or at least should be above 90 as well. He's gonna be a pretty much a all threshold, all catching, decent height, decent speed receiver. And by decent speed, I mean good speed. 94 speed, above 90 change of direction, above 90 juke, above cool, mid 80 stiff arm, above 90 break tackle. He's gonna be one of the best. He's like a Des Bryant-esque kind of guy with a little bit more speed when uh, Des Bryant used to get really good cards. Next is going to be a rookie premiere, Patrick Queen. I finally said his name right. 
Patrick Queen, middle linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens now. He would be great. Six feet tall at linebacker. You know, average height. Nothing too nothing too tall, not too small. But his speed, he'd probably end up getting at an upgrade here from a 90 to a 95. And his arc premier, he'd probably end up with like a 93 speed, which would be super fast for linebacker. 95 excel. He probably ends up having, I would say, 92 hit power. His block shot ends up in the mid-80s. His pursuit ends up high 90s. His acceleration ends up mid-high 90s as well. His agility ends up above a 90. His zone coverage ends up at an 80 with zone coverage or uh, lockdown on him. His hip power, of course, like I said, above 90. This would be an all well, a well-rounded linebacker. Again, it's, it's hard to determine exactly if he would be that usable because, of course, linebackers have been kind of just tossed aside this year. But I could only hope. Next for the Browns, it has to be Chubb. I can't imagine it being anyone else. His last card was a Durham versus the World. And typically, he really just hasn't gotten upgrades besides his card. And he's pretty much the leader of that team, despite the injuries now. Chemmed up and powered up at 95 overall. I'm going to say he gets a 93 speed, powered up and chemmed up. Uh, maybe a little bit more. They did kind of dumb these cards down a little bit because they were free, so. You can't take the stats as an exact science on these. But he will end up with a probably 93 speed, 93 excel. Um, probably above 90 jumping, mid, mid to high 80 strength. Above 90 trucking, mid to high 80 change of direction. Above 90 stiff arm, above 90 ball carry vision, high 90 carrying, high 90 break tackle. Carl will be a super well-rounded power back. I don't think he'll be the best one because, of course, we got guys like Bo who pretty much are just him with way better speed and athleticism. But again, still will be good. Next, we have for the Colts coming in at the, I believe that's the seventh seed, Darius Leonard. Now, Darius Leonard is basically right here. I clicked on the wrong card, though. But Darius Leonard is one of the leaders of the defense, and they've had a pretty good defensive year considering... Um, considering like what you would ex what you would expect typically, like they're they're a good defense, but they had a probably above average. Now, 89 overall team standout was his last card. He's usually a very well-rounded left outside linebacker. This next card gets a 90 speed, gets a high 80 block shot, which is good. Gets a high 80 hit power, so he's gonna be able to stop the run a good amount. Good hit power, strong. He's gonna be pretty fast, and his zone should be above an 80 if you get locked down on him. So. He's going to be like a well-rounded zone, run-stuffing uh, linebacker. Just can't pass rush. He'd be like the perfect kind of guy that, like, when you run a scheme where the outside linebacker's on the line, he just pops out into coverage or whatever. Probably be the perfect start for you so he can still stop the run if they do end up running to his side and also back up into coverage. But heading on to the NFC, we're starting with the first seed Packers with Devontae Adams. I was going to go a few other guys, and I looked at it, and Devontae Adams is, you know, breaking records, playing amazing. Everyone who's his back, like, he just does amazing. So figured it had to be him. And his last card was an 89, so it lined up perfectly. Now, we know this card's going to suck because the Monte Adam cards are never good. But, but he's gonna, he's, he's got him one before, too. This isn't even his first time getting a playoff master. He, this is probably going to be his second time. His next card probably ends up with a 91 speed, which, again, still really slow. He's like Michael Thomas. They give him the same exact card. But all of his route running will be above 90. You need go deep, though, to get him above 90 deep route running. His release will be high 90. All his catching will be above 90, but the speed won't be good enough. I'm not going to talk about it too much because he's just not going to be a usable card. He never is. They really just ruin him in Madden. I don't know why they do that considering he's one of the best receivers in the league, if not the best receiver in the league right now, uh, at least stat-wise. Cameron Jordan, he had a cauldron player for most feared. You could easily see him get one for the second seed Saints. All, all around, he'll be pretty slow. He'll be, you know, decent athleticism at best. High 90 play rec, mid, nine, mid to low 90 strength. Above 90 block shot, above 90 pursuit, above 90 tackle, high 88, probably hit power. And his power probably can get to a 99 if you put the pass rush cam on him. Pretty good card again. So far, I'll go over the meta cards at the end, who I think will be really good here. Next for the third seed, Seahawks. This will be a one of probably the best card they do drop if we get this card. That's DK Metcalf. Now, yes, he just got a card, but that was not a position. Doesn't really count towards his power uh, train. Now, this DK Metcalf right here had a 92 speed. If he gets a 95 overall power to chem up, he probably ends up with a 96 speed at wide receiver. He gets a 96 speed with all above 90 catching, all above 90 route running. Now, the way this would work is he will get the deep route running by default. And then if you use play fake, he'll get his medium and short up enough. He'll get the release. So he'll end up being an all-threshold receiver. He'll pretty much be Randy Moss just about. And maybe even more fun because he'll have above 90 stiff arm, above 90 break tackle. He's going to be very similar to Moss. His truck would be above 90. This DK Metcalf would be extremely meta. Next, we have a lineman for the Washington football team. That's going to be Brandon Scherf. Now, Brandon Scherf has an auto mace. But I really couldn't think of anyone else to uh, give it to on this team, considering Chase Young just got a card. 
Brandon Scherf, we, we always get a lineman tip out of this too. Brandon Scherf would be insane to have high 90 run blocking, high mid 90 run blocking, high mid 90 pass blocking all around, which would be a beast lineman, you know, especially because we're probably going for free. So that's definitely going to be a, you know, a dark horse for a taker if you don't like any of the other players. For the, what I believe is like the fifth seed Buccaneers, you have Tom Brady. Flashback Tom Brady is the last one we got. And we haven't gotten any Tom Brady cards. It makes sense. I was going to give it to Antonio Brown, but I already given us a few receivers on here, so I stayed away from that. Now, Tom Brady ends up with probably a mid. He ends up getting a high mid, a high 90 throw power just because of the fact that it would go deep and everything. You know, he's going to end up probably with, I'd say, probably 94, 93 throw power plus, you know, go deep or anything that gets set up. So his throw power will be finally addressed. His accuracy will all be above 90. Everything's going to be above 90 on him pretty much. He's just not going to be able to run. Going to be a typical Tom Brady card, except he will finally have throw power, which makes him a lot more usable. And now we finally get the Jalen Ramsey card we've been waiting for. His Durham versus the world was dumbed down, like I said. A 95 Jalen Ramsey probably has a 94. No, 93 speed. I'll give him a 93 speed. And then he ends up getting... Geez, that man in zone, he probably ends up getting... I would say maybe 99 man in zone as well. He might have been in the same situation as Tyron Matthew because his card was dumbed down. He may just get 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press because that's just kind of card Jalen Ramsey could get. They may give him like a 94 man zone and press. And then, of course, power up and chemed up. He can't get that up to 99s. Same thing with play rec. Do not be surprised if Jalen Ramsey ends up being an all 99 uh, cornerback with 93 speed. Like, very likely. Or 94 speed. And then we got Fuller for the Bears coming in as I believe what I believe was my final seed here. Yeah, it is. Kyle Fuller, 89 overall cornerback, was the team standout for the Bears. This next card ends up really fast. He probably ends up with a 95 speed at cornerback, maybe 96. Um, powered up and counted up, of course. His zone coverage may get to a 99. His man in zone, his man in press barely make it to 90. But it's still enough to be usable. His play rack ends up well above a 90. Card ends up really good in the hit power. It's a mid-low 80. So, card ends up being a really, really good cornerback, especially if you're a zone scheme. Now for our Masters. Our Masters are two guys that we haven't really seen much of this year at all. And that's Ty Law. Ty Law, I mean, I can have a picture to show you guys here, but Ty Law is going to be, it would be crazy. He had one of the best uh, performances in playoff history on the defensive side of the ball where the Patriots blanked on their team. Like, Ty Law had a great, great performance. He's had a bunch of great performances, but specifically one. So I could see, I could really see Ty Law here getting the NFC Master out of 97 to 98 overall. He ends up with probably a 95 speed total, 94 speed. Again, just like the just like the brand was talking about, ends up with 99 everything, powered up and chemmed up, and just gets like the 94, 95 speed with a decent hit power. So Ty Law ends up being really, really good as well. Patriots chem. And then for our offensive master, now this guy, if we get him as an offensive master, pretty much he's going to be the greatest card in the game. And that's going to be it's going to be Eric Dickerson. Now we haven't gotten Eric Dickerson this year. We've been waiting for him. People have thought maybe we don't have the rights. Maybe they're saving. He had one of the greatest playoff performances in history. I believe he has the rushing playoff performance record at like 284 yards or something like that, 248 yards. It was either 284 or 248. So Bo Jackson would probably be the, uh, the prototype here for Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson probably ends up with a 96 speed. They probably make him slightly faster, 96 speed for Eric Dickerson, so he can get up to like a 97 or something like that. He ends up getting up to like 99 trucking. Pretty much all of his powers are going to be better than Bo. His juking, he's going to be Bo, just with slightly better stats. Probably a bit more strength, probably like mid-90 strength. And, of course, it's Eric Dickerson. You know how that card plays. I would love seeing Eric Dickerson master. I think that'd be one of the most fun masters we've had in a while. Eric Dickerson, Ty Law. But to wrap it up, guys, we have, again, with 14 total, plus D2 masters. And that's pretty much the whole playoff prediction. It's probably it's a pretty long video, but hopefully we got everything across we want to get out. Um, I'm expecting at least some of these to hit. Of course, you know, things change. Maybe they change the format. Hopefully they don't. Otherwise, we'll check back on this when it does drop to confirm how many were right. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Heading over to Mutt Reserve. Use code for 30% off to stock up for the playoff promo. Subscribe, like the video. Comment down below who you predict will be the Masters. That's about it. I'm out.